scientists warn as Britain's nearest supervolcano inches closer to eruption. supervolcano in Europe may be getting closer to an eruption and not too far from home. The Campi Flegre volcano in southern Italy has become weaker and more prone to rupturing, according to a new study. Researchers at UCL and Italy's National Research Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, used a volcanic rift model to interpret patterns of earthquakes and ground uplift, and concluded that parts of the volcano had stretched almost to their breaking point. Our new study confirms that Campi Flegre is getting closer to destruction, said lead author Professor Christopher Kilburn. Volcano fracturing models are based on the physics of how rock breaks, in real time on any given volcano. We first used this model in 2017 and since then Campi Flegre has behaved as we predicted with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below. We now have to adjust our procedures to estimate the possibility of opening new routes for magma or gas to reach the surface. This study is the first to estimate the eruption of a dormant volcano and may improve forecasts of future volcanic eruptions. Our results show that some volcanoes are becoming weaker, said Dr. Nicola Alessandro Pino, from the Vesuvius Observatory. This means that the volcano will probably rupture even though the pressure it will cause will be less than during the last crisis 40 years ago. Campi Flegre is the closest active volcano to London, less than 2,000 kilometers by road. Unlike most volcanoes which look like mountains, this volcano has a depression 12 to 14 kilometers wide, and currently there are around 360,000 people living on its roof. Solfatara Pozzuoli is one of the 40 volcanoes that make up Campi Flegre and is located about 3 kilometers from the town of Pozzuoli near Naples. This is an ancient volcanic crater that is in a dormant state. Over the past 2,000 years, the region has been home to evaporating sulfur dioxide, boiling mudflows and high ground temperatures. Continuous small earthquakes were also recorded for the first time since the mid-1980s, but increased to 600 in April, the largest monthly number of earthquakes so far. The volcano, which last erupted in 1538, has been in turmoil for more than 70 years, with two-year spikes in unrest in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s, and a slower phase of unrest in the past decade. Tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred during this period and Pozzuoli has been lifted almost 4 meters, 13 feet, about the height of a double-decker bus. Scientists believe the disturbance was caused by the movement of fluid about 3 kilometers below the surface. Some of the fluid may be molten rock or magma, and some may be natural volcanic gas. The final phase of the unrest appears to have been caused by magmatic gas seeping into cracks in the rock, filling the three kilometers thick crust like a sponge. Earthquakes occur when cracks slip due to stretching of the Earth's crust. Earthquake patterns in 2020 show that the rock is responding in an inelastic way, namely breaking, not bending. We can't see what's going on underground. Instead, we have to decipher the clues provided by volcanoes, such as earthquakes and land uplift, said Dr. Stefania Danese from INGV Bologna. The team explained that the factors that caused the eruption had occurred since the 1950s. The eventual so eruption may be preceded by relatively weak signals such as smaller levels of ground uplift and fewer earthquakes. 